sarcoma must be the same irrespective of whether there is any associated HIV infection, implying that Kaposi's sarcoma in all individuals, homosexual or heterosexual, African or European, black or white, is caused by one and the same agent. B. The agent is infectious but is not HIV. Before this theory becomes accepted and is a necessary overture to our own hypothesis, we will present evidence that A. There is no need to assume that the same causative agent is responsible in all cases of Kaposi's sarcoma regardless of age, race or geographic region. B. The assertions upon which Burl and her colleagues base their infectious theory are themselves only hypotheses which their various authors acknowledge as being largely unproven, and have even suggested alternative explanations. See right parenthesis there are plausible explanations for the apparent correlation between sexual activity and Kaposi's sarcoma in homosexuals other than sexual transmission of an infectious agent. Common etiology. It is inconsistent with current knowledge of other neoplasms to assume that Kaposi's sarcoma is exceptional by having a single cause in all individuals. At present it is well recognized that many neoplasms have multiple etiologies. One may also argue that comma since the precise cause of most, if not all neoplasms is unknown comma it is impossible to state with any certainty that a particular type has only one definite etiology. Infectious Etiology Burrell derives support for an infectious origin of Kaposi's sarcoma from the following data. 1. The massive increase in Kaposi's sarcoma in AIDS patients dash at least 20,000 times more common in persons with AIDS than in the general population, and 300 times more common than in other immunosuppressed groups. 2. The fact that few known human carcinogens increase the risk by more than 100-fold and comma in the best documented example, hepatitis B and hepatoma comma the cause of the cancer is an infection. 3. In immunosuppressed subjects such neoplasms may have an infectious cause. However a high incidence of a relatively rare disease in a confined population does not necessarily indicate an infectious origin. Malignant mesotheliomas are exceptionally rare in the general population, comma, approximately one case per million. However, comma, in a study published in 1988 of a cohort of individuals employed by the Australian Blue Asbestos Company that operated in Whitton Newman, Western Australia, comma, there were 33 deaths from mesothelioma recorded. Even though this study grossly underestimates the incidence of mesothelioma, comma, it still reveals a greater than 5,000-fold risk of dying from this disease in these individuals. Asbestos, a non-infectious agent, comma, has been accepted as the major causal factor in this condition. In another study of 2271 deaths of insulation workers who came into regular contact with asbestos the cause of death in 175 was mesothelioma comma an incidence of 7706 in 100,000, 8 percent. The risk of Posey's sarcoma quoted in these studies are considerably higher, 50 and 800 times, than that associated with hepatitis B referred to by Burrell. The data concerning hepatitis B virus, HPV, and hepatoma were taken by Burrell et al. from a paper by Beasley et al. This paper describes a prospective study of 22,707 male civil servants from Taiwan where it was found that the incidence of primary hepatocellular carcinoma, PHC, among carriers of hepatitis B surface antigen, ZAG, was much higher than among non-carriers, 1,158 divided by 100,000 versus 5 divided by 100,000. These authors put forward the hypothesis that hepatitis B virus has a primary role in the etiology of PHC, an hypothesis that so far has not been conclusively proven. The authors themselves state alternative explanations of the very high relative risk among ZAG carriers are that HPV is a cofactor with another etiological agent, or is simply a risk factor. Case control studies have repeatedly shown that PHC does occur in ZAG-negative subjects. 
This finding can be taken to mean either that HPV is not sufficient to cause PHC, or that there are several independent causes. The authors also refer to the geographical correlation between the amount of aflatoxin in food and the incidence of PHC that occurs in Africa. They postulate that a similar relationship may exist in Taiwan, but also point out that, comma, due to the eclectic nature of the Chinese diet, comma, there are insurmountable difficulties in studying this particular factor. In support of their argument, Burrell et al. also referred to a review paper published by Kinlan in 1982. This paper is cited as showing that the increase in Kaposi's sarcoma in immunosuppressed patients is caused by an infectious agent. However, the substance of Kinlan's review is too. 1. Acknowledge the appreciable increased incidence of non-Hodgkin's lymphomas, comma, primary hepatocellular carcinoma, comma, melanoma, and Kaposi's sarcoma in immunosuppressed individuals. 2. To refute the immune surveillance hypothesis of carcinogenesis by pointing to the fact that these same individuals do not share an increased incidence in the common epithelial neoplasms. 3. To argue, comma, without any convincing proof, comma, a role for ultraviolet light in the skin cancers, comma, HPV and hepatocellular carcinoma, comma, Epstein-Barr virus, EBV, for lymphoma and cytomegalic inclusion virus, CMV, for Kaposi's sarcoma. 4. To speculate that antigenic stimulation, or even the immunosuppressive agents themselves may directly cause some of these neoplasms. Thus, Burrell and her colleagues base their infectious theory of Kaposi's sarcoma either on an unproven hypothesis, HPV and hepatoma semicolon lymphomas and EBV, or on an hypothesis, CMV and Kaposi's sarcoma, which they, and many others, consider to be incorrect, sexual transmission. Burrell and her co-authors reported several interesting and relevant findings concerning the incidence of Kaposi's sarcoma in the various AIDS risk groups. 40% of homosexual and bisexual men in 1985, and approximately 21% in 1988 had Kaposi's sarcoma compared with approximately 1% of hemophiliac AIDS patients. The next highest incidence, comma, 6%, comma, was from patients born in the Caribbean and African countries, but living in the USA. There were 73 cases of Kaposi's sarcoma in transfusion recipients. Kaposi's sarcoma was most unusual in patients less than 15 years old, comma, occurring in 1.6% of all children with AIDS, comma, 13 cases. All but one of these U.S.-born children with Kaposi's sarcoma were children of Haitian women. The other child was born in Central America and raised in the United States. These data were interpreted as evidence that 1. Kaposi's sarcoma is caused by an as-yet-unidentified sexually transmitted infection. 2. The appearance of the agents in transfused patients older than 15 years may be by roots other than blood. 3. The agent in children younger than 15 may be perinatally transmitted. If the above conclusions are correct then because, 1. There is no cure for the disease. 2. In non-AIDS patients the disease is chronic, comma, that is median survival is 8 to 13 years. 3. Prostitutes have a higher frequency of all the sexually transmitted diseases, especially in Africa, where treatment is not readily available. One would expect a high incidence of Kaposi's sarcoma in families, mother-child, husband-wife, and prostitutes. However, in Africa where it was known as far back as 1962 that the disease occurs not uncommonly in African children in the first decade of life and is probably much underdiagnosed, the incidence of Kaposi's sarcoma in women, Mothers, including prostitutes like elsewhere in the world, is low comma with a male-to-female ratio of 17 colon 1. Among the many theories put forward before the AIDS era regarding etiology of Kaposi's sarcoma comma the two most often mentioned were infectious and genetic.